as y'all saw the title, ASMR NBA Playoff Predictions Part 1, because there may be another part, another part, what I will say, is um, in today's video, we will just simply go over who I think is going to win, who I think we're not going to give the full prediction, like we're not going to give the full who I got in the playoffs, who I got in the first round, who I got... Um, what we will be going, who I got in the first round, but I'm not going to get in the depth as to be like, oh, today I got so-and-so in the finals and this, this, and the semi -con. like, we're not doing any of that, but what we're getting into is predictions, simple, okay, so we're going to get into the, okay, okay. um, we're going to start off with the Eastern Conference, just because the Eastern Conference is so weak compared to the West Western Conference. The first, ninth, and tenth seed in the Eastern Conference, we have the Chicago Bulls versus the Atlanta number 10 Hawks. Um, if the Hawks get Trey Young back, well, for this game, I don't recall if he's out for the season or not. If he is, might be out of luck there, bud. Um, but I'm gonna take, I'll, I'll, I'll go Atlanta though. I don't think Atlanta loses that game. Um, okay. Then we have, you know, this one might be a little biased, but at the end of the day, what do you want me to say? We got the Miami Heat versus the 76ers. Um, Joel Embiid is back, obviously. Um, but so is Playoff Butler and Playoff Bam. So, with that being said, okay, with that being said, I am going to take my Miami Heat um, and upset um, the 76ers, but they can lose and still advance and etc, etc. The plane is a wild dynamic of basketball. Um, then we're going to go, because even if the even if my Heat win, if we play Chicago or Atlanta, being both of those teams, and I'm saying that in the nicest way, so... With that being said, um, yeah, then we have the first seed is going to play the eighth seed, which is either the Miami Heat or the um, 76ers. Um, I'll take Boston. Um, I rather play. I rather play the Knicks. I don't think can keep up with us but we low-key have created a rivalry with the celtics so it would be a great series then we have the cleveland cavaliers as the fourth seed playing the fifth seed orlando magic um i'm gonna take the Cavs here but i got the magic winning i think this one might go seven that might go seven because the Magic have a shot. Don't get it twisted. Um, then we have number three versus number six. We have the Milwaukee Bucks versus the Indiana Pacers. I am going to take... Alright, this is kind of bold. I I think Milwaukee will win. But I think it, that's another series I think could go seven. It just depends on... What kind of Damian Lillard are we getting? And what kind of Giannis Antetokounmpo are we getting? I think that's what it boils down to. If we're getting the two dominant factor, where they could easily be the best team in the league, then it's a little different. But if we're getting the one where Giannis is doing 30 and, and Dame's doing 25 and they're still losing, the Pacers ain't no, ain't no slouches. Tyrese Halliburton, Matherin, Miles Turner, Patrick Siakam, Dur Durante, um, who else they got? TJ McConnell. Um, I, they got a couple guys, man. Um, and then obviously if we played, the, it's either the Knicks versus the Heat or Celtics or Heat or 76ers or Boston versus the AFC. So it's going to be super tight. Um, I think that the Eastern Conference is super weak, though. I think moving after the first round, who's a true contender and who is possibly could be the Western Conference team. Um, really quickly, I'll give you my rundown who I think could be the Western Conference squad. The Miami Heat, the Milwaukee Bucks, the Knicks, and the Celtics. I think those teams could be East Western Conference teams. But the 
other ones I don't think necessarily stand a chance of series where a guy or a, a, the whole team goes berserk. So with that being said, we don't know what's going to happen until it happens. Moving on to the Western Conference. Um, the first seeded Thunder will play the eighth seed, which will be who knows yet. But in the plan, we have Sacramento Kings versus the Golden State Warriors. Um, I'd like to see Sacramento advance here, making the playoffs back to back. Um, Golden State just is full of veterans, full of freaking shooters. But the Kings have looked really good at certain times during the season to where I think that they could do it. Then you have the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Pelicans. I am a Lakers fan due to LeBron James. I will be openly honest about that. I do not like the Lakers like as my squad, but I do like Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Vando, D'Lo. I like their team. I like who they have. Um, and also LeBron's my favorite player, and he's been the reason I watch and play basketball. So with that being said, I got the Lakers winning and end up playing the Thunder, or the Nuggets. But if the Lakers were smart, they would tank, lose, and play the Thunder because they could beat the Thunder. And you could see the Lakers later, or the Nuggets later. But there's one factor if the Lakers play the Nuggets in the first round. If somehow the Lakers pull that off, I got them winning the whole thing. Because in a reality, I had the Nuggets doing over a back to back run. But they have recently started looking a little sloppier and not like as dominant. So if that's the case, I'll take the Lakers. Um, if the Thunder see the Lakers, I got the Lakers. If the Thunder see the the Pelicans, I got the Thunder. Um, fourth seed plays the fifth seed, who is the Los Angeles Clippers versus the Dallas, 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 Dallas Mavericks. Then we have the three seeded Timberwolves versus six seed um, Phoenix Suns. Um, I'll take Phoenix going six or seven games, though, so don't sleep if the Timberwolves can pull that off. It's possible. And then we got the Nuggets. Like I said, they're either going to play one of the two teams that I said. And honestly, the only teams that I feel like could, could do do bad against the East teams if, if it even got to that point, which is only the finals. But I think the whole Eastern squad could be... I don't know, man. I don't know. The Western Conference is tough. The Western Conference has rack squads. Also, we don't know what kind of Pelicans we're getting either. And I say that because the Pelicans have given us super dominant, unbeatable, Zion doing 30 and 10 and all of the above. But we've also gotten the side where Zion only scores 12, 15 points. No one else is scoring and they lose by 15, 20 points. So in my eyes, it really, really, really depends on what kind of Pelicans we're getting. Now, granted, guys, if you are Lakers fans, do not get upset if the Lakers lose. It possibly was for a reason. Um, but let me know down below in the comments. Please let me know in the comments who do you have, who's your favorite squad, who do you got you win in the finals. And once we get past the, past, once we get past the playing game, I may drop a shorter version of this just to quickly recap and what I think is going to happen. Or I may just wait until mid-round one predictions. Um, but yeah, man, I'm super excited. I feel like this is going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal playoff series. I feel like um, there's a lot of teams that match up really well. Obviously, you've got Celtics, Thunder, 76ers, Miami. All these squads, bro. These these squads are good teams. The only teams. The only teams that I say will be out in doubt without a doubt. Um, Atlanta, Chicago. Atlanta, Chicago. Pelicans. And Magic. And I only, I just want to.
to see what the Magic have to offer. And I say that because the Magic could do really well and go up to two, three rounds. But they're also super young, haven't been there in a long time. Whole new squad since they've recently been there. Um, so yeah, um, I think it'll be good. I think it's going to be a lot of competitiveness, a lot of teams showing that they can compete. So it's going to be interesting. If you're new and you like the basketball content or just my videos in general, Drop a like, comment, subscribe. What's up, brother? If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop that like, comment, your favorite basketball team. Hopefully see y'all in the finals.